guys, we're back. And I have to get a sip of that before I go into this topic. Now, for this third and final topic, I wanted to mention something before. If you're um, not aware of this, I like finding random shit on the internet and then talking about it. And I might incorporate this later on. But this is not so random. It's not something that's that underground. But it's called cryonics. So cryonics is the low temperature freezing and storage of a human corpse or severed head with the speculative hope that resurrection may be possible in the future. (laughs) So, basically, before you die, you sign a contract and you pay $200,000 to a certain company, which I think was named Alcor, and whenever 200,000 for a whole body and I think it was like 75 grand for just the head like they preserve just the head and later on like attach it to another body so for 200,000 dollars you can make sure that once you're dead you're not gonna be dead you'll be preserved and one day hopefully or not technology will bring you back to life so before I go into how fucking bunkers that is Take a fucking second and think that this company has not been around for only 10 years. You think like, oh, you know, someone's got the idea recently. No, this company has been around for over 100 years, if I'm not wrong. Anyways, it's been around for a while. There's been like famous people that have um, used it. Like there's a baseball player whose head they've stored. They've even said that they've like stored Walt Disney's head. They say it's a myth. They'll never say it's real or not. Who knows? But they're holding so many... They're basically holding dead people like in a really super cold tank and preserving them frozen. And then hopefully in like a hundred years, I don't know when, if we're ever going to have that technology, they're going to be able to be brought back to life. Now, there's so much tension around this topic and people get so heated about it because of many reasons, obviously. One... People say that this is not possible. Like, number one, there's a lot of people that hold that it's not possible. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm not super informed about this. I'm just bringing like, hey, look this up, you know. I'm just telling you, look this up, learn for yourself. But this is what it is. People are saying that it's not possible to bring people back to life. Because the moment that you start on freezing them and warming them up, they'll almost instantly die because there'll be not enough composition, not enough blood flowing through. There'll be nothing to hold all the tissue together yet. So that's one speculation. Um, the other one is like the severed head. Who knows if, if it wasn't like accidentally decapitated instead, you know, instead of carefully like cut. Um, there's a lot of questions about that. But my fucking question is, dude, have you seen the world? Imagine you were 100 years ago and you preserved your body and you're gonna let's say that we had fuck this technology in 2020. You died in 1920 and you were, or in the 1920s, in the roaring 20s. And then technology in 2020 finds a way to bring you back to life. And then you're surrounded by these things. How the fuck do you think you're going, how is that going to look like? Is there going to be a program where you're going to like, first of all, I'm saying hypothetically this works. Are you going to bring people through like a program to get them used to the new world? If so, what do you tell them? Like, how are you going to make sure that this person is going to become an integrated part of society and they're not going to go fucking crazy? And imagine if they're not, if now, imagine they're going to be, like, brought back to life in 100 years. How the fuck is life going to look then? So, you know, bravo to these people, but holy shit, no, thank you. I don't think, I, I don't think this is for me. Um, They started, like, 100 years ago, and there's a, still a lot of tension about the ethics of it. Like, there was a case where a certain person um, in someone's will, it was written that they wanted to be cremated, but somebody had brought in a napkin where that person actually wrote that they wanted their body to be preserved. And so his body was preserved. I think it was um, it was something Lee. I don't remember the name, but you should look it up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm terrible at like giving names, but this is the story. And you should look it up. Cryonics. Look up cryonics 
um, famous people that were preserved with cryonics, and you find the list. And one of those people was pretty much what sounds like frozen against their will. So how fucked up is it that 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 person thought that they died, and then they will be uh, tried and be brought back to life later on? How is that going to how is that going to look like? Like they they didn't want to be frozen in first place, and if it happened once, and if it's gonna become mainstream, think about the amount of people that are gonna be frozen against their will once you're dead you have no more power over your body who's to keep anybody from freezing it you know like i feel like it's a it's crazy but honestly if you ask me i feel like there's more to life than just the body i feel like life is everything but the body you know in a certain way and i don't know how you're going to be able to bring that energy back that spark that soul and is it going to be the same is it gonna i I don't know it's it's gonna be weird I don't know, is your soul gonna is your soul gonna be like hang out in limbo and then be brought back? Like what is it gonna look like? I'm just talking like crazy shit, but it's gonna look very, very weird and I have my concerns about it, but how cool is it? And they went so I watched this video about it and they went into Alcor, the company that does all this. And they were like tanks all over the place. And they're like, Yeah, there's five people in here, six people in here, and they fit them together like all of them frozen like in sacks and or heads sometimes you just have like severed heads and stuff like yeah there's like 300 dead people and frozen in this room like waiting to be brought back to life and again who's brought back to life first like it's just all of these questions what happens if they're brought back to life and they don't want to live anymore will you be able to like have assisted suicide by then will you be able to like just be killed this reminds me of like altered carbon really i don't know if you watch altered carbon if you didn't watch it on netflix it's pretty cool the first season is anyways and um it's crazy like the, they basically ha- have all of their memory stored in like this little chip all their like personality and life and soul basically in this chip and even if their body dies that chip can be transferred to another body and they continue to live forever or they can choose to destroy their chip and die i think like you know People are going to have to deal with that kind of shit. Like, yeah, I don't want to continue living. Um, Don't want to be put in a new body. Um, Please let me die. That's crazy. But if you think about it, it's not very crazy. Because with Neuralink and everything, what is to say... I think Elon Musk said that we can essentially copy a whole entire neurological system and, and paste it. So, what's not to say that we could do that and download new thoughts into someone else's brain and you know instead of them having memories from the 1950s they'll have brand new memories you know like we've watched it many movies do that marvel did that like i don't have to say them i'm not referencing movies but i'm just saying technology is already capable of doing that it today what if like we can start downloading I, I, there's so many questions around why that i feel like it's scary and it's also i'm also excited because, yeah, maybe playing God and trying to live forever, it's not the best thing to do. But if we can do it, it's still a human achievement. I just want to see how it's handled. So, yeah, that was pretty much it.